The former Minneapolis police officer Mohammed Noor made his first court appearance today. He's charged with the murder of Southwest Minneapolis resident Justine Damon last July. Noor remains in jail at this hour as he and his family try to post the $400,000 bail needed to get him released. Meanwhile, the case continues to unfold. Justine Damon called police last July because she thought someone was being sexually assaulted outside of her home. According to the Hennepin County attorney, Noor's partner, Officer Matthew Herity, said the two were spooked by a loud noise as someone walked up to their squad car. Officer Herity said that he pulled out his gun right before Officer Noor reached across him and fired one shot at Damon. Esme Murphy was in court for the hearing and she is now in front of the jailhouse. Esme, I know you're waiting to see what's happening with Noor and his bail. What's the latest? Well, Frank, I can tell you as of right now, he has not yet posted that bail. Officer, former officer Mohammed Noor was calm and composed as he listened at this brief court appearance to both a prosecutor and his defense attorney argue about how high this bail should be. The small courtroom was so crowded that some of Noor's own relatives couldn't get in. Mohammed Noor's defense attorney, Thomas Plunkett, was mobbed by reporters after the brief hearing. Plunkett did not comment. In court, he was joined by another high-powered Twin Cities defense attorney, Peter Wold. Noor, wearing an orange jail jumpsuit, listened as Plunkett called the prosecution's request for a $500,000 bail outrageous. But a Hennepin County prosecutor argued that Noor was a flight risk because he was fired yesterday by the Minneapolis Police Department and that there was evidence he may have left the country during the eight-month investigation. Defense attorney Plunkett said there is no evidence to suggest that Noor had ever left the U.S. Judge Catherine Quainton said bail at $400,000 with conditions, including that he surrender his passport, that he have no contact with Officer Matthew Herity, who was his partner the night of the shooting, and that he not use any firearms. After the hearing, a community activist said Noor was being treated unfairly. He just did what he was trained to do. And I don't think uh, he was treated fairly. Among the news crews covering the hearing, journalists from Justine Damon's native Australia, where her killing has been a top story since it happened. And the fact that a, a woman who was unarmed and doing the right thing has been shot by a, a police officer and killed by a police officer is, is something completely alien to us, completely foreign to us. And again, at this hour, Mohammed Noor has not posted bail. I can tell you, I did talk to a bail bondsman who said at minimum, Noor would have to come up with $12,000 cash immediately and then come up with a payment plan to get to $40,000 in the next year. That would constitute 10% of that $400,000 bail total. He has not come up with that yet. And I can also tell you that his next court appearance is May 8th. All right. We'll look for an update at 6. Esme, thank you.